All right, let's get rolling here. The last section, the last problem in Chapter 11 Equilibrium Problems is in exercise G, and this is where we have to determine concentration of an unknown from the K expression and the value of K. The thing you have to remember here is that it's better to do the algebra once, solve for what you want, then plug in your values rather than keep plugging in values and then rewriting the values it just takes more time and gets you confused so and also as always don't forget sig figs and remember that the units has to be molarity let's read the question and see where we're at given the following reaction at equilibrium the equilibrium concentrations and the value of k determine the unknown concentration so we've got 1 propane plus 5 oxygen gases makes 3 carbon dioxide gases and 4 water in the steam phase. We're given this concentration, that concentration, and that concentration, and we want to find the O2. We're also given K is equal to 15. Okay, that's your business. Remember what you do if you're given K or they ask for K and see if you can solve this problem on your own and then see what you get. Hit pause, battle, see what you get. Good luck. Alright, you're back. So, I gave you that hint. If you're given K or you ask for K, basically if you see the equilibrium reaction, you're going to have to write out the K expression. Okay, so K is equal to the CO2 cubed times the H2O to the fourth divided by the C3H8 to the one and the O2 to the fifth. Notice that we know what K is. We know what the CO2 is. We know what the H2O is. We know what this is, the C3H8, the propane. And that's what we need and all we need to solve for. So let's do the algebra to solve for this. How would you do that algebra? It's in the denominator, right? So let's multiply both sides to get it up into the numerator. And let's divide both sides by K to get that isolated. Great, because K over K is equal to 1, and O2 to the 5th divided by O2 to the 5th is 1. So what's left? The O2 concentration to the 5th power is equal to the CO2 cubed, and the H2O to the 4th divided by the C3H8 times K. We've solved for the one variable that we need. Now let's plug in our values. CO2 is 1.1 times 10 to the minus fourth. Cubed. Don't forget the cubed. Don't try to add. We're multiplying here. 3.95 times 10 to the minus fifth taken to the fourth power. And these guys don't have any power at all. So it's 4.21 times 15. Okay, so let's figure out what that is. One point one times ten to the minus fourth cubed is equal to one point three three one times ten to the minus twelfth known to two sig figs clearing three point nine five times ten to the minus fifth taken to the fourth power is equal to two point four three 
four three eight times ten to the minus eighteen three six six that's that value that's that value now I'm gonna multiply these two together fifteen times four point two one is 63.15 okay so that's all that let's figure out what that is away here, making sure I'm doing things the right way. And I get 5.13089434.7 times 10 to the minus 32. Hmm. What do you think? What do you think? 1.331. I'm going to check it just for fun. So many numbers. Times 2.43438. Second function e, e minus 18 equals divided by. 63.15 equals. I like it. Okay. Well, guess what? That's not the answer. And that's not the answer for more than one reason. The main reason is because that's the oxygen concentration taken to the fifth power. So, how do you get that number that's not to the fifth power? You take the fifth root of both sides fifth root of both sides because how does that work well let's let's do a little bit of that over here some of the ways to remember is that x to the twelfth okay if you take the twelfth root of x to the twelfth that's equal to x it's the same thing as saying x to the twelfth to the one twelfth power. That's also equal to x. So in other words, that is the same as one over x. Okay? If you use the caret button, that's the easiest. All right, so how do you do this function? Well, it's one of two things. You do y to the 1 over x, or x to the 1 over y, or caret, or x to the y, or y to the x. Check all those out your calculator is going to have one of these and your job is to know what it is and how to work it here's the math to check it all right uh, oops. the 27th root of 3 is something that I don't know actually I do know because I've done it it's 1.04 the cube root of 27 is 3. Okay, so if you punch in 27, then this number, and then 3, and you get 1.1, 1 1.04, you've taken the 27th root to 3. Obviously, you didn't want to do that. If you take 3, hit this button, hit 27, and you get 3, then you've taken the cube root of 27. So that's your check. 
All right, so let's go back here to our original problem. See where we're at. If we take the fifth root of O2 to the fifth, that's going to give us the O2 concentration, right? Now remember, this answer is going to be two sig figs. So that means we're going to take 5.1 three zero eight nine four three four seven times ten to the minus thirty two and we're going to take that to the one fifth power or you're going to hit the x to the uh, power y or the, the root the yth root of x or whatever it is on your calculator and 11C is where you find out how to work your calculator because that is the algebra problems that are related to this problem. And whenever we take the 1 divided by 5 parentheses close parentheses power, we get to 2 sig figs 5.5 times 10 to the minus 7th. And if that's all you write, you get the wrong answer. Because what are we finding here? We're not finding K. We're finding an unknown concentration with units have to be shown of molarity. Okay? This is an involved problem algebraically but it's not difficult, you just need to go through your business. Practice up so you know for sure how to use your calculator efficiently and quickly and correctly. And then be careful with sig figs. It's the same as everything. The more practice you do, the better off you'll be. Good luck. Hack at it. Practice up.